Okay, so we'll be dealing with 1.5. So it says diagram one below represents part of the reflex arc. So we can see diagram one with the reflex arc. Um, so that's obviously just a part in the spinal cord. And diagram two then represents the neurons. So actually understanding that there are three neurons that could be found in our reflex arc. And just one of the neurons have been represented in diagram two. Also, just before we jump into it, we can make uh, a clear note as well that we can definitely see if this is a sensory, a interneuron or a motor neuron. Okay, if you kind of see that the nucleus is sitting within um, and not at the ends so definitely a sensory neuron so okay let's go 1.5.1 identify layer e so you can see um in diagram one we don't have e in diagram two we have e and it looks like it's sitting over that like um line that runs through the whole thing so obviously we understand those small little ones so just 1.5.1 let me just do a would be our myelin sheet <clears throat> all right next one is b so structure f so structure f is like the little thing that runs all the way through until like the tree like structures so if you think about it what is the thing that is connecting or the impulse is kind of like running um the connecting so obviously we understand that the myelin sheet isolates or insulates but that structure F would then be our axon. So for B, oh, sorry, B, that will now be our axon. Next, 1.5.2. Which structure? So now we're going back to diagram one. Represents a type of neuron shown in two. So we know in two. We said this was um, a sensory neuron because we understand that the information or the stimulus um, actually is processed within the body and not before or after. So our sensory neuron would be the first neuron to understand. Um, it would be sitting at A. Um, is damaged when a person can feel the stimulus but cannot respond is damaged right so this one could be damaged when a person can feel the stimulus so sensory is in place but cannot respond to it that means they've lost um, interneurons so they motor cannot respond so that that will be the um, one in between, okay, what is it? Is damaged and a person can feel the stimulus but cannot respond to so, yeah, so it's a motor neuron. So the sensory neuron can feel but cannot respond to it would then be our motor neuron. Does that kind of make sense? Because our motor neuron helps us to be able to respond. Give the letter and the name of the part that ensures unidirectional flow of the impulse. So which part ensures that impulse is moving in that direction? Okay. So if you look at diagram two, there is nothing there. So we've done E, which is the myelin sheet, which is insulation. We've done F, which is kind of just like road. So it just kind of helps um, it flow within, but it doesn't like ensure that it moves in that one direction so let's go back to diagram one so the first a is sensory neuron b is interneuron so interneuron also is still a neuron so it doesn't really help c is motor neuron but d is the synapse so the synapse ensures that from one it comes over to this side, kind of like causing that like direction. So we would have said really D. And it would be the synapse. It just looks funny, the spelling. 
good job.